Welcome to the biggest display of laziness you have ever seen. To becoming sleeping rich, to playing the game without actually playing the game. The dream of every Skyblock player. Welcome to AFK from Nothing to Hype, episode 1. First I have to explain the rules, and there is quite a bit of them because this is a very unique challenge. The most important rule of all is the only way to make money and XP can be by being AFK. This means that breaking blocks or hitting mobs is not allowed at all. For the auction house and the bazaar, we can actually use those to buy stuff. But we cannot do any flipping at all, otherwise it would just be flipping to Hyperion. Minions are kind of special in this challenge. Because yes, we are allowed to use minions, but we have to be on the island to be able to use them. Movement is completely allowed, because this is more about making money AFK than not moving at all. And finally, make sure to subscribe. I'm still AFK in YouTube rank, and I love the support I've been getting. Let's get to 10k. Let's get this challenge started with a new profile with two new islands, and obviously one new Jerry and one new unpaid worker, the first cobblestone minion. Now, you may have heard me say we and us, and that is because this challenge is a co-op with my friend Beocypher123, who you have already seen in my previous videos before. And let me tell you, this guy carries me. After making a bridge to me and then mysteriously disappearing, the first epic part of this adventure can begin. Watching a cobblestone minion for a couple of hours. Yes, this is not a joke. This unpaid worker is tier 1, and at tier 1 it gets about 2 cobblestone every minute. If you sell this to NPC, that means 2 coins per minute. Because yes, you can sell this to NPC for only one flipping coin. So our initial income is a whopping 120 coins per hour. At this rate, it would only take about 1000 years to get to Hyperion. Pretty doable, right? Right? Nonetheless, we decided that slay minions uh, or the way to go. And not long after, we added our second unpaid worker to the company, now making 240 coins per hour. But while I was checking out the minions, Bayo managed to bin his snow cannon for 10 coins, which obviously instantly got bought by someone scouring the auction house. This was the first time that we lost out on big profit. I went to go claim mine and luckily I managed to sell it on bin for about 2000 coins, which was lowest bin at the time. And this gave us a bit of money to work with. The rest of this day was spent by growing our cobblestone empire. Every so often, I would just go and collect the minions and get all of the cobblestone and the XP. The XP is a lot more important than you think. After some time and with the worst weather conditions possible, I placed down a third unpaid worker right there in the rain. This really started speeding up things and after some time we added the fourth unpaid worker. By now I had been spending so much time with them so I decided to give them a name. It's time for you guys to meet Cameron, Chloe, Charlie and Connor. Decide in the comments who deserves employee of the month. Roughly half an hour later a new intern arrived, Kara. But we needed more efficiency so we created a cobblestone generator. This generator makes it so the minions work two times as fast because they don't have to place the blocks down themselves. And as you can see, Caleb and Connie joined the crew as well. This setup quickly brought us to Mining 7, but why do I keep talking about Mining 7? Now to unlock the bazaar. You guys have seen that bazaar prices are a lot better, but you need mining, farming and foraging 7. And how on earth does one get farming 7 without breaking a single block. Now, the answer is communism. All of the main hubs have a working wheat minion in the middle. You can go to this minion and you can collect it from time to time and get free resources. So what I did was just go to a minion and stare at it for some time as well. Now, whenever Arthur was looking away, I would get a bit closer and steal all of the free resources. And then a rinse and repeat. After some time, we got enough to make our first wheat minion, adding a new minion to our collection. 
getting to farming 7 after this was pretty easy. Bayo and I were just AFKing and from time to time collecting all of our wheat minions. We made sure to upgrade them as well and they were making us pretty good money. But once we unlock Bazaar, the cobblestone minions will give us a lot more, especially with the new setup. And this is where our biggest roadblock came in. Foraging 7. How are we supposed to get foraging? We can't even go to the park. First, we needed to get some money. Luckily, there was a Jerry event going on and I wanted to test if you could get presents without doing anything at all. So naturally, I would just sit in the village and watch it being attacked and destroyed without doing a single thing. You're welcome, Jerry. But I found out that you have to deal actual damage to any of the mobs attacking to be able to get the presents. What a bummer. Now the easiest way to do this and with the least amount of effort, which technically still follows the rules, is just by using a snow cannon. So before the fight even starts, I would go into a snow cannon, just sit there and then attack once. I will just kill one of the mobs and that will be enough for me to receive all of the presents. Bayo and I did it and then made sure to open our presents because we cannot sell them to Bazaar yet and got everything inside. This actually gave us coins and also something very important. I got foraging level 1. Now I have access to the park. And what can you find in the park? Yes. Man's best friend. The wolf. There are wolves in the howling caves. And for some reason, these wolves are holding a log. I don't know if they're holding the logs in their mouth or where else they come from. But they give logs, not sticks complete log. We managed to afford a witch mask that does pretty good damage, about 3000. The witch mask was easily able to kill wolves in the Howling Caves, but there's an issue, you don't get collection from the loot. At this point I also tried to buy a talisman of coins for the extra 2 coins you get every day. No for real, it's really not worth it and people outbid you so much. Luckily the baker gives you a free cake. And these cakes are actually a really good money making method because you can sell them for around 200,000 on bin. After selling our cakes, Bayo managed to make a deal for a skeleton pet for 900,000 coins. Now what can we do with this? The skeleton pet will hit mobs that come close to you and this hit will count as a hit that you do. This means that when this mob dies, you will get the loot and also the kill credit, giving us the loot and even combat XP. So the way the setup works is the skeleton pet will hit the mob and then the witch mask will actually kill it, giving us the loot. There is only 15% chance to get oak or birch logs from these wolves. It was taking quite some time so I went outside to take a look and I found this person getting birch. Now he is clearly pretty new to the game, so I did what any self-respecting skybot player does. Yes, steal wood from a nun. For real though, if you see this person in game, go and party him and give him 7 birch because that's exactly what I stole from him and I feel kind of bad about it so yeah. And this actually did work for collection but we stopped doing this entirely. Back to grinding. Bayo did hours and hours of grinding and then eventually I finished it off getting the final birch and finally unlocking a birch minion. After buying a bit of extra wood from the lumber merchant, we were finally able to make our first birch minion. And this quickly expanded into a whole row of minions that brought us to Foraging 7. Finally unlocking the bazaar. Unlocking the bazaar is a lot more important than you think. Even though we cannot do any bazaar flipping, this will make it so we can earn a lot more money. And this is also the end of this episode. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one because that is when we start making insane bank. See ya in the next one. I've started doing this thing where every stream I will auction away one paper and the person that won the first paper ever is 32 easy. Thank you.